Oh yeah. Okay. So we've got a new um, stream, a new audio stream. I guess it's just a new audio stream. So we've got two, uh, three. We've got playlist. We've got interactive, and we've got synchronized. And what they do is playlist lets you switch between um, tracks. Um, I'm not sure about interactive yet, but we're looking at synchronized, which lets you load multiple tracks. And so a little while back, I got access to these sounds here where they have layers. So I've got horror volume four and it's got layer one and layer two. And each of them sounds like a certain kind of way. This is like, uh, like a, a violin, I guess. Um, or it could be a cello or something. And this has got like the high pitch scary stuff, right? Cause it's a horror pack. And I guess prior to this, there wasn't really a way you just do it manually, right? You just have multiple audio stream players. Um, but now we can just play them both at the same time. Interactive music support. I don't know if I'm going to be able to check that. Create complex. Let's just have a look at the docs though. Like audio stream interactive, audio stream playlist. Audio, 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 audio listener, audio stream player. That looks different. Does that look different? Audio stream player looks different, right? Audio stream generator, audio stream. Do, 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 audio stream playlist. Oh, there it is there. Huh. And then you can just add like a bunch of clips. I wonder if I've got something that I, I've got stuff. I've got assets I can test with this. This is fun. Okay, let's go back to the game assets. I've got tons of music. Okay, intensity one, two. Okay, this is exactly what I'm looking for. I don't know if this is good music. I'm just gonna roll with it in. Let's import these waves, love waves. Let's pause the uh, chill jazz music for a second. I gotta read, okay, we've got audio stream playlist to create complex layered interactive. That's what I want. I want, maybe it needs to be audio stream synchronized. This stream that can be fitted with sub streams, which can be played in sync. The streams being at exactly the same time when play is pressed and will end when the last of them ends. It is one of the sub stream loops will then continue to play. I feel like maybe this is probably what I want. Add stream, this one here, and then add stream. Sync synchronized sounds right, right? And we'll go with that. And it plays both of them. But then you can change the volume. Something like that. You could probably get some like ultra kill level music going on with this shit. All the different layers transitions it all sounds like i imagine you've got like um multiple audio stream interactive you've got in an audio stream interactive and within that oh it crashed no get back here audio stream player 2d and give us a synchronized mate okay sorry for swearing everybody give us a synchronized we're gonna do this Oh, I crashed again. Godot 4.3 just keeps crashing. Okay, so I think it just expects you to stream with the volume. Right, so a stream that can be fitted with sub streams, which will be played in sync, which is the important part. The streams being at exactly the same time when the play is pressed and end when the last of them end. So realistically, um, this is great if you want to play all these like layered tracks. Um, okay, so get string sync stream volume and set sync stream volume. I think we can just like uh, control it with that. I think that's really the way we're gonna do it. And I think it's gonna be cool. I wonder if I could set up like a, a node here. It's just gonna be a like a static body for whatever. And as we get closer to it, the second volume increases. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna do it in a lazy kind of way. I think I'm just gonna give this like a mesh. We had like a bunch of meshes imported. So you could fade. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You can fade. I'm gonna try to do it with like the proximity to an object. Cause I think that's like something that you would wanna do, right? Bridge ceiling, bridge chair. <laughs> it's just like, as you get closer to the chair, it's gonna get scarier. I'll go with that. Give this a um, collision shape. Ooh, this is new. Single convex, interesting. Make unique. And we will just grab that texture and chuck that on. So we actually have a chair. Um, cool. 
reset the position. Awesome. Okay, so now we have an object that we can see and we can get closer to. Um, I'm just going to be lazy and add a script and get like the player. Like I'm not going to worry too much about detecting the player and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so let's set this up so that the volume gets higher. We've got the audio stream player. Um, I guess I'm going to need access to that. We're just going to do something quick and dirty. Okay, so we've got the audio stream player. We've got the character body. Um, and so now we just, we're going to need access to the streams and it's an audio stream synchronizer synchronized um, equal to the audio stream player dot stream something like that okay okay so we've got that we just need to uh, what are what are my options here I just need to get sync stream so I probably just need a copy of both of them there's only two so we don't need to do anything too complicated get sync stream and it just wants the index so that's really set sync Okay, that's so simple. Um, so we just need set sync stream volume. And we want to set a volume based on the distance from the player. So we're gonna have um, stream uh, volume. And I guess I wanna set this to something. And then we just go, we just need the distance equals um, position minus the player character's position and that'll give us a vector three or we could go distance two and another vector three that's probably going to be a little bit simpler so how do we do that we need um, uh, uh, our max distance uh, and i'm going to make that 10 didn't i say and min distance it equals make it one um, and i want to do the same with stream volume like an upper and lower band so i can just like uh, left between them. So we're going to set this as min stream volume and then um, we're going to go max stream volume and this will be 0 dB. I'm not going to worry about too much too much about the math right now. We're just trying to get some minimal viable product. Um, okay, so now that we've got that, we can say uh, if um, distance is greater than max distance and then the, the very last line, so the very last line of this is going to be um, audio stream, like setting that uh, one and it'll just be stream volume. And then I'll just lerp the stream volume. Then the stream volume equals um, the uh, min stream volume. Actually, we want to go the opposite. We want it to get quieter as you go further away. And then if distance is uh, less, less than the max distance, um, then uh, we we want to do something in between right like stream save stream stream volume uh will be equal to the distance uh but it's going to be negative distance because like it's a positive number right so negative distance so uh okay we're trying to go quick this is probably going to sound horrible hope i don't blow out speakers guys turn your speakers down no nah, i'd be fine um if distance is uh less than uh the minute distance i forgot to put the e on that variable then uh, the stream volume will be equal to, 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 to the max stream volume with no lerping because I'm can't be bothered to think about it. And I'm kind of curious to see what this gets set to. Protect your eardrums. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? Stream volume. Uh, I could come in here and just turn this master down a little bit just in case. Uh, I'm going to set it to autoplay. I hear. I don't know if you guys can. It's negative 60. I think this is good. Okay. Um, let me turn this back up just so in case you guys can't hear that. Um, uh, let's get that back up to no zero. Sounds like it's, yeah, I think it's, it's working. This is cool. This is only coming out of the left ear for me. Uh, right, sorry. And then you get closer and you hear that. That's cool. I love it. I think the only thing I would do is I'd work out a way to alert between negative 60 because it comes in really suddenly.
because because negative nine dB is like pretty high already. You know, that's so cool. I'm excited about this particular thing. I think this is going to make making sound in Godot a lot of fun because prior to this, it was like this, you know, this, I mean, it was always possible, but it was just more work like that. That's like literally, I mean, it's obviously very basic. Like I'm not doing any lerping, but it's, it's honestly, it's so easy guys making games is so easy. Hehehe. <laughs>